Our hearts are heavy tonight after the passing of Marty Schottenheimer. Marty was the master motivator. His command of the English language was incredible, and the cadence by which he spoke kept you on the edge of your seat. The former Chargers head coach died today at the age of 77 after a long seven-year battle with Alzheimer's. He coached 21 years for four different teams, including the Chargers from 2002 to 2006. In his final season here, the Bolts posted a 14-2 record, but lost in the divisional playoffs to New England, and Marty was unceremoniously fired. But even in his brief five-year tenure here, he made a huge impact professionally and personally on his players. Earlier tonight, Jake Gariani spoke with future Hall of Famer, Chargers tight end Antonio Gates. When he was with the organization, when you walk into that locker room and you walk into that meeting room, the way he, you know, he, he ran the team and he controlled everything, you just knew that, you know, it was like a general, if, if you will. Uh, so I think anybody who met Marty Schottenheimer would tell you the exact same stories. I don't see it being turned off in no other way. I mean, I've always said this about, uh, you know, about coach. I like to call him coach, man. And like I said, because he, he gave me my first opportunity. Um, you know, I think just not having enough time with him. Uh, I didn't get a chance to spend a lot, a lot of time with him because it's just staying, you know, with the organization was so short. I think that's the only thing I regret to this day uh, because the time that he was there, uh, you know, if you will, that was a supercharged team era, you know. I'm sure you guys have a, a million great stories of, of Marty and, and, you know, now there's great time to share them and talk about them. Are there a few that, that pop up in your head of some just some amazing stories from him? Yeah, uh, Marty was so passionate, man. Like, he, he was so passionate in what he did and being a coach and being able to motivate young, younger, younger players. I think to me, when I think of uh, the number one story that comes out to mind is that I remember when I was a rookie and I was making catches and uh, I had made a few catches against Rob Woodson. And he's like, one of these days, you're going to be greater than Isaac Newsom. And he would always say, you're going to be better than Isaac Newsom. Watch and see what I tell you. And at the time, I was just so blinded by playing in the NFL and and uh, just this, this, you know, speak on him and, and how he's he's able to see the future in you and your ability. Let me ask you this: for for those of us that uh, that didn't know Marty the way that you do, can you just kind of touch on the the type of person he is and was, and and just the relationship you had with him? Uh, you know, really, you just think of, you know, how many players he inspired, how many people had the opportunity to meet him, and uh, and if you met him, you understand. Uh, you know, that moment at that time, uh, you know, is it, something special. His ability to get you to go out and play and play for one another uh, was second to none in any coaches that I've been around. But I, you know, I, I would always remember him as just someone who's very inspirational to me. I think someone who can obviously get you to, you know, be your best. And I think that's a good sign of a coach. And uh, he'd be dearly missed by myself. I'm quite sure that other teammates would say the same thing. Thank you, Jake, and thanks, Antonio. Boy, few could get you fired up the way Marty could. His weekly news conferences here at Chargers Park were very well attended by us media types because they could be so entertaining. Just imagine what it would be like to be one of his players.